stations in the world with 1,911 channels. We're here at the New York Stock Exchange with Joseph Wright, chairman and CEO of Pan Am Sat, which operates one of the world's largest and most advanced satellite and fiber optic networks. We've worked very hard to become the best of the best in this industry. Right on customer satisfaction. Our fleet's the most reliable in the world. When our customers come in to us, we respond to them in 10 seconds, and then within 20 seconds, we will have them up on our satellites and into your television. On growth. I want the Pan Am set five, six years from now to be the largest in the world at delivering connectivity to developing countries. On being listed on the New York Stock Exchange. It's a compliment to Pan Am set. They are the best in the world at what they do. We're the best in the world at what we do. The combination demonstrates a quality and a prestige to investors. The New York Stock Exchange. The world puts its stock in us. I'm a Talk to you about Bigelow T, constant comment. Well, that's an American classic. The Bigelow family have been making constant comment tea for over 60 years. It all started with Ruth Bigelow. An off told story here on the Amos Money program. Old Ruth is out there in the kitchen up there in Connecticut. This is 60 years ago, Charles. I know. And, uh, I mean, I don't know this, but I suspect she was about half in the bag. Has been, uh, had a lip lock on that cooking sherry. <laughs> and uh, the girl decided to blend some real orange rind and sweet spices with some hand-picked black tea. Well, who would do that? No one. But she did. And she came up with a unique tea that has been enjoyed by generations of tea drinkers and the foundation of one of the better companies in the country, Bigelow Tea. A couple hundred million dollars a year they sell on tea, and they're just this world-class tea. I'm not a big tea drinker, but when I drink tea, it's Bigelow. And constant comment, the foundation of their company. Uh, and they have, uh, you know, a, a website course, they all do. You can get little gifts and stuff, little tea chests, and you can get pretty precious on you here. And they have, uh, and you can drink this constant comment. Charles is a big tea drinker. I am. He's about a... About a what? About a half a uh, uh, fruit loop. You're an idiot. It's official tea of the I'm Just Wine program, Bigelow. Hey, Mr. Fernwell. Yes? I put together a plan for handling the extra accounting work during the big crunch this week. Oh, it's okay, Norman. I already have... I've got Todd handling the accounts oh. receivable. And uh, the intern is handling accounts receivable. Hey, uh, Mr. Norman, do you have that five bucks you owe me? See? He's a natural. Then I've got Kevin jumping in on cash flow analysis. Kevin, the sandwich delivery guy who can't make change? Yep, he's bringing danishes. Don't worry about it, Norman. I called Bob. Bob? Bob from accountants. Been here all morning doing the budget analysis spreadsheet. What a whiz. But I have Sylvia doing the spreadsheets. Anybody know where the on button is on this thing? Okay, scratch Sylvia. Yes. With the count temps, your staff can stick to what they do best, while account temp specialists do what they do best, taking care of your accounting and finances quickly and accurately. Wow, look at all the colors. That's the screensaver, Sylvia. Oh. Account temps, the leader in specialized financial staffing with highly skilled temporary professionals in accounting and finance. Call or visit us at accountemps.com. There is expertise here at New York Hospital Queens, which is not found in this borough in any other institution. Stephen Mills, President and CEO of New York Hospital Queens on health care progress. The vision was to take a successful community hospital and develop it into a center of excellence. Why is that important? Families who have sick relatives like to stay home. So keeping it in Queens makes a lot of sense. It's a bowl of two and a quarter million people. What is unique about health care in Queens? We are lucky enough to be in the most culturally diverse county in the United States. We have 150 languages spoken right at our front door. That is a challenge in one respect, but it's also rewarding in the sense that we're able to bring the highest quality of care to populations from all walks of life and from all corners of the world. New York Hospital Queens is a member of the New York Presbyterian Healthcare System and affiliated with the Wild Medical College at Cornell University. Jack with the Toyota Pan Highway Patrol brought to you by Charles Schwab. When it comes to investing, it all comes down to this. This is really stupid. These names. It's embarrassing. It's no, embarrassing. I don't think so. Because I uh, <laughs> know you're running a wacky I miss in the morning zoo. I'll tell you why. It seems okay when I'm not here and have to have to see you do it. But now that I'm here, 
and, uh, and I'm watching you do it. Right. I just, I feel for you. And I, uh, it's humiliating. It's humiliating, yeah. you're, uh, you know. You want me to be Tracy again? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I want you to be Betty Bumberjack. I'm just telling you, I feel for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's really life. humiliating. <laughs> well, let me hold your hand. Yeah, we're going ahead. I'm enjoying I'm, this humiliation. One of the cars, John. <laughs> They suck. It's it's raining. It's terrible. Oh, okay. it, it's, it's a little harsh. Uh, well, they do. It's 48 degrees with light rain in Central yeah. Park. If you're trying to get any place, don't. It's uh, just not worth it. We'll sign off here. I'm um, Betty Barcheck. Thank <laughs> you. Tell you the I was 20 minutes after you are here on the uh, I Miss in the Morning program. Uh, well, I've got some big news, but... I can't reveal it. No, okay, so, princess. I just want you to know. <laughs> I just want you to know that I know. Well, I've just been told some... Some, well, not stunning news, but by, by all right. By, by who? Bill Parcells. No, no, no. I can't. No, I can't, can't tell you anything. That? I can't tell you anything. Bill Parcells going to go on a diet. I will make this announcement. Uh, it would be made in other areas, and I'll make it at eight o'clock Eastern time. But I can't make it now. Oh God. So, uh, but I just want you to know What's it that affect? I know. What is it? Can you say what area it affects? Here's something I respect. Okay. Off the record. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's Chris in sports. Come on, Chris. Morning, I'm in sports. Yeah. Sponsored by Peerless Boilers, builders of America's best boilers. Tough night for the Jets. They lose to the Falcons 27-14 to down in Atlanta. Vinny Testaverde, three fumbles in the first half, leading to three Atlanta Second scores. play of the game. Well, they had a new center in, as you know. Exactly. Someone about your size, by the way. Pete Kendall, as a matter of fact. And uh, his hands lingered underneath the center there. For, uh, <laughs> hey, it was a very close game last night, Don. Closer than you think. It was a horrible game. It was 27-14. If the Jets made one cheap four score, I don't cover. Please and welcome Bo Deedle in the program, sponsored by NetJets, incidentally. Morning, Mr. Deedle. We'll Good morning, Mr. Imus. As I said, we had a great night here last night. We had the over was 40. He scored 41. I mean, these are all important factitations. Sure. Now, I think, now, do you, you bet with there somebody in Vegas? I bet with Vegas because they're legal there. What, what, what uh, casino do you bet with? Uh, I bet with, remember, Frankie Nuts. Huh. Remember Frankie Walnut. Anyway, I could call him this morning just to check in with him? Yeah, sure. It's cousin of Al Tomatoes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the fact of the matter is... You're not betting with somebody here in New York. Why? It's illegal. Why oh. would I do that? I'm a man of the of the uh, of law enforcement. Yeah. Well, but even though it's in reality, if you do bet, they don't arrest you. Promoting gambling is if you take the bet. The guy who bets, they never bother. The guy who bets. Like, don't you bet what? the lottery? You could go to a racetrack no, and bet horses. What the heck is the difference? Right? I bet how long I'm going to last on this show this morning. The last time, <laughs> the last time I, I bet the races, I won $123,000 right. on a Belmont or, so what's or, whatever, the, or whatever it was. Or the Derby. We, yeah. got, we got the big Breeders' Cup coming up Saturday yeah. at Belmont. We got my man Richard Santulli from NetJets over here. A little guest, uh, you have all the NetJet owners. You, you're welcome to come over there with Richie Santulli. We got a little special. Uh, we were trying to do sports here. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, sorry. Well, you mentioned Pete Kendall, who was filling in for Kevin Mawai. Well, he feels responsible for those fumbles. It's embarrassing. I feel horrible. These players, these coaches work too hard for me to go out there and make it look like some little league team. Oh. Sounds like rich coat types. That's fine. I mean, come on. <laughs> We're all embarrassed. Game three of the World Series tonight in Houston. Astros host the White Sox. And a Lawrence, Kansas teacher and basketball coach is in some trouble. Jack Schreiner, coach at Free State High School, was busted last week for peeping into someone's window. Uh -oh. The house turned out to be that of one of, his stu uh, of one of the students at the high school and her mother. Uh -oh. But Captain David Cobb of the Lawrence Police Department says not to fear. It, it wasn't the high school girl's window. It was the uh, female, older female of the house's window where he was looking. Well, no, no, all right. No problem. <laughs> all right. That makes it okay. That makes Everybody it relax. okay. Yeah. Right. Well, it's going to go clear that up. Oh, We're what? solid. Good luck this year, Coach. 24 <laughs> after the hour here on the uh, I'm Your Somebody Program. Bo, how are you? Good. I feel great this morning. I was at Nino's last night. With uh, Joey Papers, we call him Joey Papers because anything you tell him, it makes the papers. Sure. And then we had uh, Mark the Armenian there, Mark Arsamanian, right. and uh, mm -hmm. Ali Salerno, Ali Elevators. If we're all there watching the game. It is the luckiest place in the world. When you bet the over, and then you bet the team. Yeah, we don't care about that. Well, it, 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 Nino's is lucky. Okay, when I don't go there, I lose on Monday Night Football. And I go there, I Nino's play. is a restaurant? Is that That's the place on 72nd Street, First Avenue. Nino, the, uh, he's an Albanian, but you think he's an Italian. Sure. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Why? He's, a, he's a pal of mine, and I tell you what, lucky, lucky place. So what can I do tonight with the World Series to make some money? Tell me. It is a Lacadini. Yes. As the Astros win tonight. Do we go by runs, or what do we do? 
Uh, it's a money line thing, though. I gotta look and see what it is. Before I leave this board, can you lay it on me so I can lay some cash in my pocket? Is there anybody gonna be looking for me tomorrow morning if it doesn't work out right? Why, why, okay. why, why are you compelled to, to gamble? What's you know what? I love the action. I'm getting on a train. I'm getting on a train this morning. I'm gonna go to Washington, D.C. Sure. I'm gonna see the great Peter King, Congressman King, Bernie's congressman, who's now the chairman of Homeland Security. They want to talk to me about what we can do to uh, immersify... Peter the... King is about a half no, 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 no. This is a congressman. First of all, all, all people in the House of Representatives uh, fall into three categories. They either are, are criminals, <laughs> they, they possess a stunningly low self-esteem, or oh, they want to be in uh, the Senate. Let so. me tell you, I went to his home when well, he got... Where does he fall? When he what, got, he got writing the stupid novels? Well, he got made the chairman of the Congressional Committee on Homeland Security. Right. I went to his home. He has a beautiful, simple home on Long Island. Sure. Nothing extravagant. He is, he is a person with integrity, fortitude, right. and honesty. Right. And there ain't many of them like that. Wasn't he, he involved in that? Wasn't he one of those guys in the abscam deal? Remember no, years ago in the hotel? No, no. You know who he was? Big cash and stuff. He, hey, by the way, Colonel Egan's going to be on his point, too. I forgot to mention that. So I he's coming up. And Larry the Cable Guy in just a couple minutes, but so you don't have a lot of time. You, you know, you know yeah. what King did? I'm hanging around here. I'm, I'm hanging around before Bernadette gets here. But I'm going to tell you something. You know what? Don't King, start with Bernadette. Well, you know what King did? Your, your, you know what King did? Uh, King is the one that's bringing more money into where it's supposed to be. King, when I ran for Congress in 1986, was at every one of my He's a great, he's a <laughs> killing us. honorable guy. Oh, fine, you're killing us. Is there anything that you want me to tell the people in Washington what we feel? I want to eradicate the, the uh, Your guy's going Atlantic to prison, Avenue. by the way. No, I want to go to Atlantic Avenue. It's I want to go to Atlantic Avenue with a team of guys. I want to go to these mosque stations. Well, no, we don't know. No, we I don't want, want undercovers the in there. I want undercovers in there, and I want to attack these people. That, that's false. I want undercovers well, in the mosque. I want to know what the these imams are saying. The no. I want the imams. No. No. I've always been different. <laughs> <laughs> miss your train, bro. This is Governor George Pataki. New York State's EPIC program helps seniors pay for their prescription drugs to make sure they get the medications they need to stay healthy. Now that Medicare is offering prescription drug coverage, many seniors will be able to save even more by using EPIC and Medicare together. And seniors with limited resources may be eligible for extra help and additional savings. We recently shared the good news with EPIC seniors, and this is what they had to say. I'm a great fan of EPIC. And I'm always urging friends and neighbors to enroll. I would like to learn more about EPIC and the Medicare drug program working together. I think it would save me even more money. For more information on how seniors can save more on their medicines with EPIC and Medicare together, call the EPIC helpline at 1-800-332-3742. That's 1-800-332-3742. Cable vision doesn't have round-the-clock backup batteries for their phones. Really? So if the power goes out, you might not be able to call 911? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, but you got SPC local service and a quartered phone, right? Yeah, cable vision couldn't touch the deal I got. I got high-speed internet and satellite TV, too. It's all under $80 a month. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, then. You're all right. Oh, wait. So you're saying that if somebody's got cable vision's phone service and they're all alone at midnight in their big empty house and the power goes out and they don't have any candles or flashlights, let alone garlic to keep the vampires away, they're going to be in the dark without 911 phone service when zombies start scratching at their windows? Windows, man, you're scaring me. I'm scaring you. SBC local service, high-speed internet, and satellite TV, all for under $80 a month. Can Cablevision give you that? And when it comes to reliable, round-the-clock 911 calling, they can't hold a candle to the company you can always count on when you need it. SBC, going beyond the call. Taxes, other charges, and the Federal Universal Service Cost Recovery Fee Extra. For details of additional charges, restrictions, and requirements, call 1-866-270-0397 toll-free or visit spc.com slash details for new customers. Waiting. As a lawyer, it's something you know about all too well. You wait for your cases to come up. You wait for verdicts to come down. Clients and clerks, judges and juries, you've waited for them all. Motions, petitions, decisions, wait, wait, wait. You've even waited years for a single case to settle. But once a case is settled, there's one thing you don't have to wait for. 
your fee, thanks to RD. Since 1997, RD Legal Funding has been helping successful practices get legal fees from settlements in days instead of months, and for less than you might think. So don't wait. Call 1-800-565-5177 or visit LegalFunding.com. You'll feel like a certain weight has been lifted. 1-800-565-5177 or LegalFunding.com. You can wait for your fee. Or you can call RD. RD Legal Funding. My friend Jean and I are having lunch and talking about the new Medicare prescription drug coverage. So anyone with Medicare can get it, no matter what your income? Yeah. Or your health? Or how many prescriptions you take. So what do I have to do? Well, you have to choose a plan and sign up. But first you have to order before I faint. <laughs> Sign up for Medicare prescription drug coverage begins November 15th. Call 1-800-MEDICARE or visit Medicare.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm relationship expert Don Yannick, and I want to tell you about a new guide I've written for Match.com that will change the life of anyone who's looking for a meaningful relationship. It's called How to Find the Right Person in 90 Days, and it's based on the millions of successful relationships Match.com has inspired over the past 10 years. Now, for a limited time, Match.com wants you to have it free. Give yourself the best shot at the one thing that means everything. Love. Get started today at Match.com with our new guide. Free. Visit Match.com for details. 31 after the hour here on the I'm Mr. Wayne program on the radio around the country. And on, uh, I'm not sure whether we're on MSNBC or not, and I uh, have no interest. Now, Big and Rich, along with Martina McBride and uh, Patty Loveless, and I think little old Miranda Lambert as I'm doing a favor for old Tracy or their Warner Brothers. Sort of a favor. We're all scheduled to be on, but I'm not there. So I know we used to have people in this studio here, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, it's a radio studio. So it's not. So I don't want to blow off Big and Rich because, you know, I'm in the freak parade. They're on afraid to lead it, and you, I'm in it. You bet. We'll just have to see how that goes. Proud member. All that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy uh, <laughs> is one of America's... Oh, we just love this guy. Well, America uh, loves him. One of America's funniest and most successful stand-up comedians. I'm reading from his book here, Chuck. So am I, I man. Yeah. Showering with a fat girl. You read that one yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. But anyway, uh, well, uh, this is his first book. Now, he's had a couple of albums. His most recent album, Right to Bear Arms, Went to number one on the country charts. Yeah. Uh, you know, way up in the top 20 in the pop charts, too, by the way. Went, but no, that never been done. Went to number one on the country charts and stayed there for a month. Is still in the top 20, I believe. <laughs> and uh, this is his first book. It's called uh, Get Her Done. It's from Crown. I can tell you now, it will be a New York Times number one bestseller, period. Now, the other night... Now, this was about a week ago. I'm currently, uh, Wyatt Imus is in the uh, second grade, and they uh, started second grade. And uh, I'm reading the Will James autobiography. Dream Will James is a cowboy artist out of the 30s, and it's his autobiography, and it's a wonderful book, and it's written in it like Mark Twain and so on. But my son, who's seven, is a big, uh, is a Larry the Cable Guy fan. And all the kids at the ranch, of course, last year were all saying, Get her done, but don't get her pregnant. That was what they were saying. <laughs> anyway, so he said, uh, I said, I said, can you read? He said, well, read Get Her Done to me. And I said, like a moron, okay, sure. <laughs> so I said, well, let's go to chapter two. Do you want to know how he came up with Get Her Done, Wyatt? He said, yes, I do. Okay, I started reading. In this chapter, I'm reading now. In this chapter, I'm going to not only give out the secret recipe for Kentucky Fried Chicken, <laughs> which tastes better than a cheerleader on game day, but... And I had to stop there. <laughs> That's it. So, let's go back to Will James. <laughs> anyway, please welcome uh, to the I'm Mr. Wayne program, Larry the Cable Guy. Good morning, Larry. <laughs> hey, it says right there in the front, Don, you ain't supposed to. It I ain't know. for kids. I know that. I, I put it right on there. I read that too, but well, there's actually there's nothing in it that's horrible. Yeah, there is nothing. No. It's a hodgepodge, all sorts of stuff. No. So I, I was gonna make it a cork top, 
So you could use it as a coaster as well. <laughs> but I didn't do it. Hey, real quick before we get into this, I just got done seeing them pictures of Kate Moss doing the, the cocaine. Where you that? And I didn't, if you see it, uh, she's the thin white line on the left. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but if they start drug testing supermodels, I want to be the peacup guy. <laughs> I know that much right now. So the other night I was uh, watching the baseball game. And I love have. baseball. Nothing screams America like Rodriguez to Sanchez to Rodriguez double play. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I had come. I had one of those. I have a. I'm, I'm a man of the 21st century, Larry. I have a picture in picture television. Good Lord. Yeah. We just got a dentist office at our Walmart. <laughs> we actually got two dentists, a regular one and and a uh, express dentist for people with ten teeth or less. <laughs> So I noticed that uh, the so we're up in the, we're up ED two. Oh yeah. So I noticed that the uh, the, the blue the, the blue collar comedy tour return whatever it's called is on, and Ron White is on. I love him. Oh, he's unbelievable. You know, Budweiser just sent him a lifetime achievement award last week. <laughs> he's pretty proud. Of it. But if you've never seen Ron White, he's uh, he looks like a but looks like a, a, a football player, but uh, a nice looking guy. But anyway. He comes out with a cigar and, a, and looks like a drink. Well, it's got to be a drink because by the time he gets done, he can't talk. <laughs> he hadn't taken a pee that wasn't flammable in the last 10 years. <laughs> I don't believe. So I'm watching a baseball game, and then he's on in Foxworthy, and then I figure, well, Larry's going to be on here in a second, and I'll just watch this. We love old Ron, and everybody's good on that. They just they play us all the time on that. Well, that, that's that's... That's, that's my yeah, point. I tell you, it's just really good and uh, exciting having all this stuff happen to you. But I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't know about the drawbacks this thing has. Really? I've already got two women wanting to come out with sex tapes with me in them. <laughs> Ain't right. that the way it is now? You make a little money, you got relatives coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> You know, I originally got into comedy basically working just for gas money. Yeah. And uh, here I am 20 years later doing it basically just for gas money. <laughs> so that gas is bad. I seen a street gang yesterday doing a walk-by. <laughs> <laughs> now you know it's bad. Well, um, I'm telling you what. Well, so anyway, I waited. So I'm watching a baseball game, and you finally come on, and... Uh, I said, well, I've already heard this material. I said, Jesus, I just read his book, and there's a lot of new stuff in there. Why would he be repeating his material? for the? But, uh, of course, Larry, it was a tape. <laughs> well, yeah, it yeah. wasn't live. No. <laughs> Good Lord. It, it, it definitely wasn't live. I, I didn't leave a Mensa meeting to come to the studio this morning. I <laughs> uh, no, yeah, that was the first one was on. But I want to thank Comedy Central. They're just, I, I thank them so much. They've been real good to us. They've been real good to us, you know, and, and uh, I always in, enjoy doing stuff for them. Hey, by the way, yeah. uh, did you know Martha Stewart won an Emmy in prison? I did not know that. Isn't that unbelievable? I was like, big, a big deal. I got a buddy in prison that got a Tony and a Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Waffle House, now? No. Oh, Lord. Just be careful when you go in there. What's the problem now? Well, it went in smothered and covered this morning and come out scattered and splattered. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't good. Yeah, I was reading on the air. We were reading your book on the air the other day. Oh, you know what? Thank you so much. I want to tell you, I'm excited about that book. It is uh, just a, uh, if you like to laugh, I think you're really going to like the book. No, it's funny. It's, uh, it's not, you know. It's not Doris Kearns Goodwin, who I had on yesterday. She wrote a book about Lincoln, but... <laughs> we no, don't. it's definitely nothing no. like that. But it's worth reading. It's, fun. it's funny. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. It's funny. That's all it is. Well, you know what? And that's what... Uh, it, you know, my fans are going to love it to death, and I, I'm trying... You know, and all the new people that like uh, reading books, uh, I hope that they enjoy it as well, and I hope I take it for what it is, and that's a comedy book. Well, my... Uh, uh, my general manager uh, at the, we're on about 100 radio stations, but 
the main one we're on is in New York. I mean, that's a home base station. And uh, he comes down to my office, and uh, he said, I, I, what was the deal with, uh, I had your book there, you know? Right. And he said, nobody's going to buy that. <laughs> this is, he's from New York, you know? Right, right. And, well, you know what, the people yeah. in New York like to laugh. I know, I know that. So at that point on Amazon, it was 3721 and I said, I'll bet you $100 I can put it in the top 25 by in the morning. Good Lord, what is it now? Well, it's back down to 1800 but I got it up to 35 so Oh, no kidding, did you really? On Amazon, I failed you, Larry. Well, it's taking a tumble. It'll be back up to some. Well, today's the official publication day, right? Yeah, today's the release day today. I'm uh, talking to Larry the Cable Guy. This is, my, by the way, great Christmas great gift, great... Uh, uh, whatever. Just uh, there's nobody who I know, and I don't care whether they've even heard of Larry the Cable Guy or not. Uh, this is funny to read. No, well, I really do appreciate it. And you know what? I try to keep it in the same kind of style that I do my shows. So I tried to make sure you had pretty good laugh in almost every other sentence. So I like. I was reading a thing about Cher on here. <laughs> Well, what she did to Sonny was incomprehensible, so I had to write about it. <laughs> I forget, what did you say about her? Called her a, uh, what was it, big nose, chief, crazy horse looking son. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. <laughs> was that wrong? Well, no, of course not. <laughs> I didn't think it would be. No. I, I got that movie, Meet the Fockers, the other day. Oh, you did? You ever seen that? No, I haven't. Well, I want my fucking money back. <laughs> That's what I want. Hey, by the way, yeah. have you been to the Home Depot? Oh, yeah, I yeah. have. Well, you know, you order them hot dogs on the way in. <laughs> It's so big, you don't want to be caught in there with no food. <laughs> and they just go right through you. But uh, next time you're in there, tell them folks in the plumbing department they need to mark it more clear that them toilets is for display purposes only. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The good news is somebody's going to get a plunger half price. That's the good news. That's not right, Larry. That's not right. <laughs> Lord, I apologize. <laughs> hey, do you still got that one guy on there saying blow out that some bitch? <laughs> put some gravy on that some bitch? Yeah, put some gravy on that some bitch. No, he's, uh, he's on Broadway now. No way. No. For put that gravy on that son bitch? Well, no. He's, he's in the odd couple, but I don't know if he says that in there or not. But Oh, good Lord. So he comes in once in a while now, but he's, he's left us for the great white way. So. Well, not left us. But, you know. <laughs> you well, well, good luck to him. I wish I'd have known that. I'd have come up with something with some bitch in it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch that car race Sunday? He's doing Broadway. Uh, you, you know what, Sunday... You, uh, I was watching the, what was I watching on Sunday? I was watching the football, no, I was watching the football game on no. Sunday. Well, they were at Martinsville, which is like racing in a cul-de-sac. I just don't like to, that track, so. Right. Yeah, that's what I always thought about, the, the arena football. It's like the, the Daytona 500 in a cul-de-sac, you know. It's but a you're small a, field. But you're, you're a legitimate NASCAR fan, right? Oh, I love NASCAR. I love all the old-timers. My favorite race car driver of all time was Dick Trickle. And I had a Dick Trickle mailbox for seven years. <laughs> and uh, my grandma got drunk and backed into it one night and knocked the dick right off the trickle. <laughs> <laughs> and it really irritated me. But, yeah, I was always a big NASCAR fan. Are you married, though, Larry? Oh, you, know, you know what? I just got married four months ago. Oh, well, congratulations. Oh, uh, no, we're already having trouble. Oh, wow, what's the problem? But, uh, yeah, uh, I, it was sisters. Uh, uh, these, I met these two 300-pound twin sisters, uh, former strippers, Biscuits and Gravy. Yeah. And I married Biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, she's got a tattoo right under her belly button that says, Downgrade, watch for other truckers. <laughs> <laughs> she's just a sweetheart. <laughs> She looks like Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, only less purple and not as shapely. <laughs> You're a rodeo fan, too, aren't you? Big rodeo fan. Yeah, I sponsor uh, a bunch of uh, professional rodeo cowboys. Oh, oh, oh. And, well, I got uh, Guy Allen, 18-time world champ. They call him the legend. Yeah. Uh, Britt Buckus, who's a team roper. Guy Allen's calf roper. Jimmy Folk is a uh, calf roper. And uh, I got uh, a fella named Clayton Zibels, a bronc rider. Yep. And then Tater Porter, I've 
after him, he was riding in the PBR, the Bull Riders. Uh, Joe Beaver, when he won the uh, calf roping championship here a few years ago. That's right. He came up on your show, didn't he? Right, and he said, uh, he said, I'll, uh, he said, uh, I think they were getting ready for the finals in Las Vegas. And he said, uh, and the guy, as you know, the guy wins each, they have 10 go rounds. The guy that wins each go round in each uh, event gets a belt buckle, you know. Right. He said, I'll, he said, if ne next buckle I win, I'll send to Wyatt, my son, you know, it's a big rodeo. Oh, wow, that was, that's pretty nice. And he sent it to him. Yeah, those buckles are nice. But, well, no, my point is that, you know, those guys, people say stuff all the time. You know how they are. Oh, yeah, yeah well, that's the good thing about rodeo cowboys. They're going to keep their word. Well, so, uh, six, eight months went by. So he didn't send it? No, he did. Oh, okay. Well, he had to win it first, but. Oh, right, well, yeah, he won it. <laughs> but, uh, but that was the year Fred Whitfield, who's, by the way, leading on uh, calf roping money again, tie down roping, they call it. Yeah, he's leading my guy, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go down there and put some juice in his horse or something. Are you uh, uh, are you going to do, like, the Today Show? So Have they booked you on the Today Show? You know what? They had me booked on there and read my book and said, oh, it's too controversial. <laughs> what? I Don't ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> That's I, why guess I didn't write about Monica Lewinsky and Clinton, so I ain't going to get on. Oh, that's right. Well, you don't need to be on. No, I ain't they, cool. they suck and we hate them, so. Yeah, so, no, yeah, for some reason they didn't have me on there, but uh, I was booked on there, let's put it that way. Foxworthy's got a, he's, got, he's coming on here in about a week, and he's got a book, too, you know. Yeah, he's got the, uh, the about the words. The Redneck Dictionary. The Redneck Dictionary, yeah. I, I don't know if he put mine in there or not. Mine was Freeze. Uh, for ease of jolly good feathers. <laughs> I don't know if they put that on there or not. Hey, you know why there's no Chinese NASCAR drivers, don't you? Uh, no, Larry, I don't. Nobody wants to hear the announcer say, here comes Dong up the rear. <laughs> 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 okay, you are. That's funny. Right? I don't care who you are. <laughs> All right, baby. Well, good luck with this. You don't need it, but uh, you're doing good. Good for you. Hey, I can't thank you enough, uh, uh, Don for putting me on the, the, sh the program and reading parts of my book. I'm glad you enjoy it. You know that that's why I did it. It's a comedy book, so I'm glad you enjoy it. And, it's funny. and I appreciate you talking about it all the time. You're quite welcome. It's funny. Well, right. I appreciate it. All right, baby. Thank you. Thank you. You're done. Larry, the cable guy here to have my word. has been released to me at this moment. Okay. Infinity Broadcasting has announced that succeeding Howard Stern here in New York will be David Lee Roth. All right. And, um... David Lee Roth, okay. Okay, well. Uh, hmm. And in Los Angeles, it will be Adam Carolla. Oh, it will. All right. All right. And then when that doesn't work, what happens then? <laughs> if I haven't, uh, whatever, David Lee Roth. they'll have to come to me, won't they? Yep. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that's it's uh, it's, huh. it's going to be very difficult. But it's not a bad. I mean, what are you going to do? Got to do something. Yeah. Sure. So anyway, let them till they are. <laughs> people in business who think that the more complicated they make things, the smarter they look. But you and I both know that's just dumb. The more complicated business is, the more resources you need. That's why at MaxJet, 
They're simplifying the business of business class service from New York to London. Instead of huge planes stuffed with 400 people paying a complicated jumble of fares, Maxjet flies exclusively business class, front to back. Focus on one thing, and it's simple. In fact, so simple that Maxjet can charge much less than typical full fare business prices. From just $779 to London Stansted, plus taxes and fees of approximately $20. So, your decision is simple. You can book your reservations now for service beginning November 1st. Visit maxjet.com. Maxjet. It's just good business. Last year at Hackensack University Medical Center, we got to hear a lot of good lucks and mazel tovs and felicidades. We got to see a lot of glasses raised, backs patted, hands shaken, and baby gifts exchanged. That's because, thanks to our outstanding women's services, we gave birth to 4,600 babies. We were busy. But to us, they were more than just other people's babies. They were ours, too. All 4,600 of them. Now, raising 4,600 kids isn't easy. So to help protect them as they encounter childhood diseases, we've built a nationally recognized children's hospital. As they grow, there may be cancers that'll be treatable, thanks to our world-famous cancer center, and cardiac conditions that can be prevented thanks to our award-winning heart center. So our 4,600 babies should live to ripe old ages, which explains our highly regarded geriatric center. Hackensack University Medical Center. When you feel good, we feel good. In a recent meeting, oil heat dealers discussed energy conservation. In the face of rising energy costs, is there anything the average family can do to save on home heating bills? Actually, there are quite a few things. Now's the time to get your oil heating system tuned up to make sure everything's operating at peak efficiency. Right there, you could save 3 to 5% on your annual heating bill. Well, that sounds pretty easy. Easiest of all is simply turn your thermostat back. Going from 72 to 66 degrees at night could save 6%. Or have a programmable thermostat installed to automatically reduce consumption when you're asleep or away from home. Saving energy while you sleep, that's a good deal. But here's the biggest opportunity to save. If your oil heating system is 20 years old or more, you could save 30%, up to $600 a year, by upgrading to a new high-efficiency oil heating system. 10% here, 30% there. Soon those price increases seem manageable. Well... That's today's oil heat. Yeah. Call your local oil heat dealer for details. Sponsored by the National Oil Heat Research Alliance. Calling all coffee drinkers. If you're driving or working in your office, you need to listen up. There's a new revolution in coffee. It's called Java Fit. It's the first performance coffee that helps you stay fit. Yes, I said it. Coffee that helps you stay fit. We all lead busy lives and therefore look for that extra edge. Java Fit is here. It's great tasting and gives you the edge you need. Latin gourmet coffee. Convenience in a cup. Fitness in a cup with functions like Java Fit Burn and Burn Extreme for fat burning, Java Fit Energy Extreme with green tea, Java Fit Lean with calcium, and Java Fit Complete with multivitamins. It's amazing. Why didn't anyone think of this sooner? Delicious gourmet coffee that helps you stay fit. The secret's out and the job evolution has begun. Java Fit Functional Coffee. Available at Dwayne Reed Vitamin Shop in Pathmark. Call them at 800-919-1443. That's 800-919-1443. Buy it today. Java Fit Coffee. www.javafit.com. I'm Betty Bumberjack with the Toyota Fan Highway Patrol, brought to you by Charles Schwab. When it comes to investing, it all comes down to this. Who can you talk to and who will actually listen? Talk to Chuck Charles Schwab at 1-800-4-SCHWAB. Starting Queens westbound on the expressway, right before the clear view, the right lane is blocked in the entrance ramp with a jackknife tractor trailer. Delays go all the way back to the Douglaston Parkway, also heavy from Main Street to Woodhaven Boulevard. Eastbound Jackie Robinson, accident cleared at Cypress Hill Street. Westbound on the Cross Bronx, stop and go from Westchester Avenue to Rosedale Avenue. Three-car crash block in the right lane there, and eastbound heavy from the George Washington Bridge to the Major Deegan. Another accident being cleared at that location. Over to Bergen County, New Jersey, northbound on 95, Fort DeGraw Avenue. Left lane blocks and the locals with a stall. Five-minute delays to the Holland 45, the Lincoln 20 at the George. The items in the morning forecast, wind advisory in effect. Rain today, heavy at times, high near 50. 48 with rain in Central Park. I'm Betty Bumperjack with the Toyota Fan Highway Patrol. Six minutes till the hour here in the, uh, the Iverson Wayne Program Program already all over the country. And uh, on MSNBC, uh, Bernadette Castle is coming up. And um, I'm not quite sure why she's here. Do you know, Bernard? Where, where would Bernard be? 
It's right here. Do we know why she's on? She has uh, a gentleman uh, bought in a prize at an auction. Right. And he is here this morning for right. charity. Right. This nice gentleman, John, from Long Island. Why is she on, though? Well, she is accompanying him. I think they have a thing going on. He's a very handsome guy. Right. It's a Judith Miller yeah. entanglement. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Cardinal's coming out. So. And Bo's here. Bo's Great. on his way to where? I'm going to Washington, D.C. by Excel uh, Express train. Right. Two hours and 40 minutes there. Lay back. You're in Washington. Right in Union Station. The planes are a little de detrimental tonight because of all the winds and the sure. velocitation of the rain and all that. So you hop on a train, you pop there, you lay back, you read a little bit, get off the train, you're right there in Union Square. Sure. Amtrak's a very good way to travel. But I was the just, engineer doesn't fall asleep. I was just get talking to you before the about, get some about terrorism. Some like I was just talking about terrorism. I picked the paper up. What did you say, up. Bernard? If you need, you can get an extra rolling paper from the conductor. Nah, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Hazi oh. Bayaz Muhammad. I'll be down. We're out of time. Four till hour. One, two, three. I'm in the morning. All right. Let me talk to you about the Tosimo machine. You know what I'm saying here now. <clears throat> well, it's a, it's a hot beverage system. That's what it is. It's not just a coffee machine. Makes everything from... Uh, you know, hot chocolate, espresso, a cappuccino. Do you know that, Joe? As a matter of fact, I did, I bet. And, uh, it's good. Mm. Uh, you can make a cappuccino with it. Use real milk. And a new Tosimo system even, uh, makes tea, Charles. Beautiful. All at the touch of a button. Get these coffees and teas from uh, Javadia, Sukar, Twinings, Maxwell House, that's what I'm saying. One cup at a time, every time. It's a touch of a button, all in about a minute. Excellent. So no matter how pressed you are for time, yep. uh, they're 150 bucks and change from Brown and Kraft. Uh, they're neat looking. You won't believe it. I mean, you'll think you're looking at a five, six hundred dollar item. <laughs> Go to Tosmo.com and get one. Weatherman. Oh, What's this commercial, Lou? North Fork Bank. Well, I don't know about that. 356 branches later. <laughs> that was ridiculous, that story, isn't it? That was the richest end to it. John Cannon started out in Long Island with one bank. Get her done. Yeah, you bet. Your income? Yeah. Or your health? Or how many prescriptions you take? So, what do I have to do? Well, you have to choose the plan and sign up. But first, you have to order before I faint. <laughs> sign up for Medicare prescription drug coverage begins November 15th. Call 1-800-MEDICARE or visit Medicare.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. This is the Imus in the Morning radio program. On WFAN New York and Infinity Broadcasting Station, it is 8 o'clock Eastern Time and time for our top stories, which include the results are in and officials in Iraq say a majority of voters there have adopted the country's draft constitution. After counting ballots from all 18 provinces, officials from Iraq's Electoral Commission announcing today that the referendum had been approved by 78% of the voters, 21% voted no, the Independent Electoral Commission of Iraq's Sunni Arabs, who sharply opposed the documents, were unable to produce the required number of no votes to defeat it. Hamida al Husseini, a member of Iraq's Electoral Commission, speaking through an interpreter here, says several instances of voter fraud are still being probed. There are 135 complaints, and this is something very good, and the Electoral Commission dealt with these complaints better than it did in the past period. The vote is seen as a major step toward developing democracy in Iraq. It will allow for the election of a new parliament in December. Such steps are considered vital to the future withdrawal of U.S.-led forces from Iraq. And regarding that, two more deaths. U.S. Marines killed in Iraq when their vehicle was hit by a roadside bomb back on Friday outside Fallujah. The, uh, the deaths being revealed today. And they bring the overall U.S. military death toll since the 2003 invasion to 1,999. U.S. military casualties now just one short of the 2,000 figure when it is reached. That is expected to spur fresh calls for President Bush 
to outline an exit strategy and also set off a number of uh, observations and protests around the country, a uh, number of them including Cindy Sheehan, who is saying that she will tie herself in some manner to the fence of the White House, and when she is arrested, she says, as she expects to be, she'll get out and simply go back and do it all over again. Also in the news this morning, the death of Rosa Parks, the woman who gets personal credit with helping start the modern civil rights movement when she refused to give up her seat to a white man on a Montgomery, Alabama city bus. Ms. Parks passed away yesterday evening at her home in Detroit, 92 years old. Her attorney, Gregory Reed, says that Rosa Parks will always be remembered for her courageous action. Her legacy would be a woman of great courage, a woman who is a symbol of peace, but mainly of courage. She was a person that had the spirit that had personify that. Rosa Parks was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1996 and then the Congressional Gold Medal in the year 1999. We'll have more coming up. It's three minutes now after the hour. The news is sponsored by Newsday. Good morning. Read these stories today in Newsday. What can you expect when the high hurricane winds hit your neighborhood? Check Newsday.com for the latest updates and advisories. In the fold, should you be worried that bird flu could start spreading from person to person? And in part two, how Robert Downey Jr. conquered his demons to take the big screen by storm. For news and information you can't find anywhere else, read Newsday every day. Newsday every day, Newsday every day. Want to get a jump on the holiday rush? Just look in your mailbox for a special offer from Newsday. You'll get a $100 Macy's gift card when you subscribe to a full year of convenient seven-day home delivery. Newsday is filled with news and information that you can't find anywhere else every day. To subscribe today, just order online at Newsday.com or call 1-800-NEWSDAY. That's 1-800-NEWSDAY. Newsday every day, Newsday every day. We at the MTA want to thank our fellow New Yorkers for helping to keep our transportation system safe. So we ask you to please continue to remain alert to objects such as unattended packages or luggage. Be wary of suspicious behavior. Take notice of inappropriate attire. Watch out for exposed wiring or other irregularities which may be evidence of dangerous devices. And report anyone tampering with surveillance cameras or entering unauthorized areas. We also suggest you learn the basics of safe train evacuation by visiting www.mta.info. And remember, if you see something, say something. Alert a police officer, train or bus operator, station personnel, or call 1-888-NYC-SAFE. That's 1-888-NYC-SAFE. We thank you. So will your fellow New Yorkers. This message is brought to you by the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. I'm trying to talk to Buzz. I don't have time for this. It is uh, five minutes after the hour here on the I'm so Mind program on the radio around the country and on... Uh, are we on MSNBC? Yes, we are. See, here's what, uh, here's the reason I'm here this morning, and uh, because I couldn't get a hold of Michael Lynn or David Boyce, but um, the, the problem is, uh, I'm over, uh, we're over there yesterday, and the hurricane, we know the hurricane's coming. Even the idiots at MSNBC know that. And, uh, so Rob is back in makeup. Like you saw him, didn't you, Charles? Certainly did. So it takes two hours to do that. I realize we're breaking down the fourth wall here. Oh, uh, well. To do uh, Dr. Phil's show. So that's fine. But if you know you're going to preempt us, which they did, which is fine, then just let us know that. And then... Uh, one of the reasons that they talked me into going over there, which is a hideous inconvenience for me, and by the way, I don't need to do, is so uh, whenever something like this happened, we could uh, incorporate what we're doing with their uh, stupid hurricane coverage, which I'm happy to do. Uh, so we're sitting there right in the middle of MSNBC. 50 feet from the weather center. Yeah. <laughs> Surrounded by technicians and every other ignorant bastard over there. <laughs> so how do I find out that we're not 
that we've been preempted. I find out from Bernard is 21.6 miles away <laughs> in Queens because they're all terrified to come tell me something. But all they'd have to do is talk to anybody who's ever uh, worked with me, and they know that while I seem like the most difficult bastard on the planet, I'm not. I'm actually the easiest to work with. Even of this radio station here in New York, who's the easiest person to work with? Mr. Cooper. We got a bunch of yeah, prim prima donnas around here yep. who, for, uh, who are so for no reason, by the way, who you can't talk to. So, uh, rather than come to me and say, we're going to do yada yada, whatever, which would have been fine with me, we, we don't need to put Rob through all that dog and pony show. And Larry. And Larry. So, um, now, you know, I like Rick Kaplan, and you know that. So. Yes, I do. So I don't know if that just comes from him, but, but I don't need some dog-ass uh, running third... Uh, 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 embarrassing uh, twit at a at a at a at a cable channel, uh, complicating my life. It's complicated enough. I'm a reasonable person. Just say, you know, you could even say, we want to show these idiots hanging on to light poles every 15 minutes, or go to uh, go to the the, the 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 flit in the weather center, and talk about the hurricane. I'd be happy to do that. Well, I had some interest even in it, even as self-absorbed as I am, because uh, Charles, you know, he owns houses all over the world. He has a place in Naples, so I figured, well, I'm, I, I would I would even go to Naples just to make sure Chuck's condo's okay. And a son in Fort Lauderdale. And a, and a son in Fort Lauderdale. See how Les is doing. <laughs> and then on top of everything else, and this is this is this is this is the worst part. Well, I mean, they they they, they, they you know enough. I say to Rick the other day, Kaplan. I said, uh, "Does Willow Day still work here?" It's a lovely lady, and she's married to Bob Iger, runs Disney. Yeah. I said, "Well, since Katzenberg left Disney, I can't get any more mouse T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Could you get me?" Could you talk to Willow and ask her, or is she going to be in doing the news or anything? So I'll ask her, because uh, that's the only person I know at Disney. Mm -hmm. Is I don't really know Willow Bay, except I, you know, I've seen her around, and she's a, well, as I said, she's a lovely person. She is. Yeah. So I said, uh, uh, he said, I'll take care of it. I'll get you the mouse T-shirts. Wouldn't you think that'd be a pretty? I should have brought him in today, but I, I didn't know where I was going this morning. But anyway. You have no idea how they screwed this up. You know the white uh, mouse T-shirt I wear? I do. Well, wouldn't you think that'd be pretty simple to get? I would. By the way, you can't buy it at the Disney store. We've been through that. It's ridiculous. Those dumb bastards. I mean, that's, that's what that's at. Anyway, that, that's another story. Not with right. shoulder pads, anyway. Sure. So, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so I'm talking to the woman who works for Rick, and she's got a box of T-shirts there. I made mean, old Buzz stopped there yesterday. Yeah. Well, what they did, they had some gray ones. First of all, not white. But they, for some reason, they thought I wanted vintage mouse T-shirts. So the their, their, the mouse is on about, about half of it. You know how they do. They, they uh, distress stuff. The mouse is about half rubbed. That's not what I wanted. But I, I, I didn't want to simple request. I didn't want to say this to her because she, 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 she doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, "Well, we've ordered white ones, but I, I don't want them either. I want, I want. Oh my God! You can't get, you know." Hurricanes, people dying all over the world. Uh, <laughs> I can't no, wait. No, no, about you. No, 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 no. This is an example of why. This is a fundamental. We, this is this is a fundamental of why MSNBC is a nightmare, and why they and why they put stuff on the air like that, like that uh, that, that little twit Tucker Carlson and the rest of that stuff over there that you can't watch, or even deal with. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't. You can't. I mean, uh, I like M M Monica Crowley, and I'm sure Ron Reagan is a lovely person. He is, but then. That is unwatchable. It looks like a vampire, Ron Reagan. They have two people there who have any, who have any uh, uh, Amy and Randy, and after that, shut it off. 
But, but I mean, it is, it is beyond dreadful. No wonder they're getting their ass kicked. You can't, you couldn't pay people to watch it. And the mouse debacle is just another indication. And, the, and, the, and the, the, if you, if you, if you can't get a mouse T-shirt, you can't beat <laughs> Shepard Smith. Of course not. And poor, and poor Keith Elberman, you know, I like him, but I mean, I'd, yeah. you know, they're just, uh, he's, it's horrible what they've done to him, so, that's his, uh, so anyway. <clears throat> well, that says it all. It. Yep, there's the load for the day. I'm even, uh, I'm even more irritated than I'm indicating here this morning, but mm -hmm. you're keeping it in check. actually, uh, it made all of us sick here this morning, to be about half serious, when Jennifer didn't show up, because who knew, you know, you get this... You know, but people murder this neighborhood all the time, right, Bo? Yeah, you know, and at 4.30 in the morning... Oh, the God, I want to hear that. We but she's fine, and she's here, and so, thank goodness. And I haven't fired her yet. <coughs> well, I'm not going to. Nope. All right, enough of that. Well, we got great news, though, for you. Uh, they're recovering from the... Oh, by the way, Bernadette brought some guy in from Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Lance. Yeah, Mr. Lance. And I forget the guy's name at Coke who... Uh, who was going to get the top job and didn't get it and decided to stay there. I can't remember his name now. Steve something. Sharippa. So, so the only water I'll Sharippa. drink is Dasani water simply because I don't drink Coke because uh, I don't like Coke. So I don't drink that kind of, uh, those kind of, that's just don't. So I'm drinking one right now. Um, I know you drink it all the time. Yeah. It's horrible for you. And that stuff they put in it is that contributes to Alzheimer's. And I love it. Makes your teeth fall out and it's horrible stuff. But they make the best water on the planet, Dasani water. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't get any better now. So do you think I could get these uh, cheap bastards to give me any for the ranch? Oh, no, of course not. Yeah. No, of course not. There's another brick. So I have to wind up buying, you know, several hundred cases of Dasani water. Never ends. Because uh, they don't want the little sick children to have their water, apparently. To can't understand that. that. <laughs> it's wonderful water. Anyway, let's go to Kelly O'Donnell at the White House. Cause, well, anyway, good morning, Mr. O'Donnell. Good morning, Mr. Imus. Man, do we have great news, huh? Well, I tell you, the weight of the world, uh, after sitting here on hold listening to this rant, I tell you. The, well, there uh, you go. The employee of the month plaque is not being prepared in your honor, I don't I, think. By the way, I didn't even get to the part, and you, you'll, you'll laugh and think this is stupid, but... Uh, uh, we've got a new limo, you know. It's only got 10,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. And I said to Brant yesterday, "There's, are you sure the tire pressure is right? <laughs> so he said, well, the tire pressure is what the guy recommended. I said, but you can't trust them. So, because it's it rides a lot rougher than it should. <laughs> but anyway. No joke. That's not a joke. That's not, you know. Anyway, but, you know. So what's the deal now with... Um, this is great news about uh, Scooter Libby now is ratting out the, the vice president. Well, the New York Times has a very interesting story today. We have to give them props for the reporting on this. Uh, what it indicates is that lawyers in the case are saying that Louis Libby, who, as you know, chief of staff to the vice president, a very senior official at the White House, sure. took notes during a meeting back in June of 03, before Valerie Plain's identity was publicly known. Right. And in those notes, it indicates that the Vice President of the United States was taking part in a conversation about Plain's husband, Joe Wilson. Yeah. He is the guy who went to Africa on a mission looking into the questions about was Saddam Hussein right. looking for nuclear materials. Well, let, me interrupt, let me interrupt you just a second. You know, I talked to Mary Madeline who was, a, was an advisor to the vice president, probably still is. And she, she said they were all sitting around and wondering, who the hell is this guy? So that's, that, this, is that, this is part of that conversation, right? Yes, okay, and, go and ahead. there is certainly nothing inappropriate about the vice president talking about these sorts of issues. I mean, no one has higher security clearance than the vice president and his national security advisor, Louis Libby. Right. So for them to be talking about this, there's nothing wrong with that at all. And in no. fact... And about what they're going to do to him, what they could get on him. Yeah, well, people close to the vice president say it was part of, of his role and still is to question the CIA about issues like mm -hmm. this. Where it gets interesting right, is that it puts uh, the vice president directly involved mm -hmm. 
in conversation. Mm -hmm. Now, you'd have to then infer, was Mr. Cheney involved in any plan? Oh, please stop. I'm getting too excited here. Look like you're panting, guy, man. Oh, man. I may mean, I mean, have to take a cold shower. Go ahead. Was the vice president involved in any, in any plan to try to discredit Wilson? There's no indication of that so far. Oh, really? Uh, no indication that he knew that Plain's identity was classified. No. Now, all of this raises the question with... Just the vice president of the United States, he wouldn't know that, right? What do you think he would know that he should know that? Well, I'm just saying we don't have evidence of that. Okay, but we can surmise, can't we? You may infer as you see fit. Right. But what's interesting about this also in terms of the potential danger to Lewis Libby is that early reports have said that Libby told investigators that he had heard about claim not from the vice president but from journalists. And so if there is... A problem in those accounts not matching up, that could be trouble for him. Oh, God, this is great. Can you follow all this? It's, it's complicated. Uh, no, it's, but of course I can follow it. And it just doesn't get any better, does it? Well, it is a bit juicy today. Well, first, Libby was trying to lay it off on Tim Russ, remember? Yes, I'm aware of that. That didn't work. That didn't fly because of, because the times didn't. The time, in fact, you, 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 you reported that to us, that the timeline didn't match up. Exactly. And now, uh, I figured, well, I couldn't get rustered. Let me get the other fat guy. <laughs> Pork chop butt. Lay it off on well, it, does, it raises questions, was Libby trying to protect the vice president, shield him from this sure. investigation? Right. We don't know. But uh, a lot of sources who are talking to us indicate that, you know, we're now in the window. There's just a few days left until this grand jury sure. expires. Right. And so we may find out uh, the results uh, Tomorrow, the next day, it, it, we may be right on the doorstep of it. Do you know anything that you can't tell us? I know some things I can't tell you, and you won't pry it out of me. Well, I'm not going to try to. I just wondered if you did. So, about what's going to happen? Well, I don't know what is going to happen. But, but you've got certainly, some... Yes, we know things oh, that okay. people are telling us. But, oh, man, that's cool. Yeah. Why can't you tell us that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to identify... No, I'm serious. Why can't, you don't have to identify the people who are telling you this, but why can't you tell us what they're telling you? Well, I think it needs to be carefully checked out, and I would not want to uh, be responsible for putting out any information we couldn't absolutely nail down. That makes sense. All right, thank you, Kelly. Talk to you soon. Uh, Kelly, I hope, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's another fix there in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Kelly O'Donnell here at Amherst. I've got 19 after the hour. The Cardinal is next. One, two, three. One, two, three. Rocky Moselle with International Star Registry. Give someone special to you the gift that will be remembered for years to come. Name a star after them. The Star Registry will name a star after anyone on your gift list for $54 and a call to 800-282-3333 or visit StarRegistry.com. It's the perfect gift for birthdays, weddings, and just about any occasion. Give the ultimate gift. Call the Star Registry at 800-282-3333 or visit StarRegistry.com. We proudly support the Starlight Star Bright Children's Foundation. No matter what you do, work can be stressful. And all that stress might cause you to grind your teeth at night. So why not go out and buy yourself a doctor's night guard, the dental protector you wear at night to cushion and save your teeth. Put all that grinding to a stop. Just like that. Relieve the nightly grind with the doctor's night guard. Now available in three sizes at Walgreens and other fine stores. Talk to you about the Cosmo, Cosmo machine. This is a uh, machine that will make, uh, well, anything from brawn and craft. It's unbelievable. Uh, 150 bucks and change. It looks, it looks great. Fit right in there in your, in your kitchen deal, you know. And you can fire up a cup of coffee, uh, a cup of espresso, latte, even a creamy cappuccino made with real milk, by the way. It all comes as a disc system. These things in prepackaged discs. Even the real milk, which they explain to me how they do, but there was more information than I, I needed, and so I didn't pay attention. But don't worry about it. It's the way it works. You put the disc in the machine, and the machine reads the barcode. You press a button, it decides, it determines what it is it's making, how hot the water is supposed to be, or whatever. It's, it's fabulous. You need to get one of them. Because, first of all, you can make it a couple of times, it always tastes good. You fire up a pot of coffee, and it's old. 
Yeah, yeah and then the next thing you know, it tastes more cold and bitter. Cosimo would pour it in your, uh, any sort of uh, place where they would sell something like this and figure it out. Lady in department stores, or you can go to Cosimo.com. I don't have any Mohegan Sun copy, but I can tell you that they are up there in uh, Bill, Connecticut, exit 79A off of 395. Uh, it's a destination resort now. They have a, uh, well, they've had it for a couple of years now, a 1,200 room, 34 story, I mean, a 34 story, 1,200 room hotel, not a 12 story, 3,400 room. Because <laughs> they'd be like room for ants, wouldn't they? <laughs> but, uh, they're not typical uh, <laughs> casino hotel rooms. But, all, you know, in red, designed to drive yeah. you down to the tables, you know. The place is gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. Big time entertainment. The Wolf Den for, you know, whatever. So, 60 shops and restaurants. And uh, on 200 or so acres up there in Uncasville, Connecticut. Mitchell Edison and the tribe, they're chumped down with the tribe, as you know. Yeah. And uh, they're up there waiting for you. You know, Bo one time won 250 grand on a slot machine, so. God darn. Check it out. Mohegan Sun went big wampum. Hey, uh, Joe, is that sand? Sure is. Turning my lawn into a beachfront property. It's going to improve the value of my house. We're 50 miles from the ocean, Joe. Just hit that switch. You know, all you need to do to improve the value of your home is get Keyspan natural gas heat. Does Keyspan give you that savage tan? It's 35 degrees, Joe. It's a fact. Homeowners who upgrade to Keyspan with a new efficient heating system can expect to get back their entire investment. Upgrade to Keyspan before December 31st and get a high-quality heating system for just $599. That's a savings of up to $1,500. Call 1-800-GAS-2001 or visit gas2001.com today. Hey, are those crabs? I just painted some squares. World's red. That's freaky. Call 1 800 GAS 2001 to upgrade and save and ask about special financing with no payments for six months. Keyspan, climate is everything. Heating equipment offer good only for Keyspan customers that heat with oil and where gas from Keyspan Energy Delivery is available in New York State. Some restrictions may apply. I'm Betty Bumperjack with the Toyota Fan Highway Patrol, brought to you by Pace University. Attend Pace University's undergraduate open house at our Pleasantville campus on Saturday, November 5th, or the New York City campus on Sunday, the 13th of November. Call 800-874-PACE, starting on Long Island eastbound on the Southern State Parkway. It is just jammed into exit 19. That was all because of an earlier accident that has been cleared over at the Drogneck Bridge. All trucks are being diverted to the Whitestone. That's because of the high winds out there. Expect heavy delays approaching the Throgs Neck Bridge from the Bronx and Clearview. Southbound on the Harlem River FDR Drive, jammed from 142nd Street to 116th, right lane blocked. That's because of flooding this morning. And at the Holland Tunnel, slow from 1 and 9, there's a breakdown at the Pulaski Skyway. 45-minute delays at the Lincoln, 30 at the George Washington Bridge. The IMIS in the morning forecast with wind and rain advisory in effect for the city till 9 tonight. Heavy at times, high near 50, 49 in overcast. I'm Betty Bumperjack with the Toyota Fan Highway Patrol. Coming up on 25 FDR here on the Iris Morning Program. Uh, time for a little sports sponsored by Peerless Boilers, America's best boiler. And here with that is Chris Conley. Good morning, Chris. Morning, I'm in. Jets lose to the Falcons. Game three of the World Series tonight in Houston. Astros, White Sox. That's sports. I'm Chris Carlin. Please welcome now to the Iris Morning Program. Over from the Archdiocese, uh, Cardinal uh, Egan. Good morning. Good morning, Cardinal Egan. Good morning, Nicole Glass. Well, get your tire pressure right, Mr. Mauer. Let's hope your blood pressure goes up over a thousand, over three hundred, or some damn thing, Jesus. <laughs> and God bless, I, Mr. Mauer, and pity the poor bastards in the path of any hurricane. Having said that, I, Mr. Mauer, let me just say this to the silly cable news stations and others: unless it looks like the American equivalent of a monsoon in Mogadishu, complete with looters and helicopters rescuing home in the clown and fat Shaniqua from the rooftops, nobody gives a rat's ass, I, Mr. Mauer. Well. Give us a break or give us some real news, BJ's. The only reason to look at your stupid fat reporter standing in the wind and rain. Is in the hope a light pole smacks one of the losers in his bleached teeth, BJ's. Or well, they step on a live electrical wire during a broadcast and light up like a damn Christmas tree, eh, Mr. Marr? No. But it is good to have the I-Man back on TV after being cancelled yesterday. No. As MSNBC continues to cover one disaster after another, BJ's. <laughs> Just a sunken-faced windbag, you BJ's. Let me try to understand this one, eh, Mr. Marr? Sure. You have some writer for, what the hell is it? Vanity Fair magazine, BJ's. Yeah. It just makes me feel gay to say it. Vanity Fair magazine. <laughs> some writer following your flea-bitten ass around this week for some dumb future unreadable profile. Yes. Let me ask you this. 
Isn't Vanity Fair some sissy fashion magazine mostly read by queers and Upper West Side Marxists? <laughs> and various other fedwet in America haters, eh, Mr. Mars? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, man, it'd be a better fit in the Globe or the Onion or some damn thing, B.J. <laughs> just fumbling old mummy. Is. And just what mysterious enigma does this clueless sycophant writer hope to unravel during this idiotic observation period, eh, Mr. Mars? Let's see. Does the eye man still stuff his tight jeans with a sweat sock? Does he fasten does he fasten his loose facial skin back with a clothespin? Does Randy Meyer really pee in the eye man's coffee? Or does bootlick and McCord still swallow me jeans? Who the hell cares, I Mr. Moore? Let's hope this profile ends up being published posthumously. Preferably next month, you mouth breathing mongoloid, you be Jesus. That's, that's, that's horrible. Get your heads down, you morons. We're okay. going to pray. All right. Yes, yes. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I miss in an urn we want the most, BJ's. Lord, hear our prayer. <laughs> Lord, we pray for this new dog for Nanky, the new chairman of the Fed. Good riddance to the Mr. Magoo like Greenspan, who looks half dead, BJ's. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God bless Donald Trump for throwing lion home Martha Stewart under a bus. <laughs> we pray he does the same with that silly ass toupee. Please, Trump, do it for us, BJ's. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray that NBA players say F the white master and don't act like wimps, that they wear bling bling, carry guns, and keep on dressing like pimps. My brothers, don't forget Martin Luther King proclaimed, free at last. The least you nitwits can do. The least you nitwits can do is tell David Stern to kiss your black ass, BGs. No justice, no peace. Lord, hear our prayer, I just Lord. Lord, we pray that I must laugh too hard this morning at Larry the Cable Guy, the filthy fat hick. That he laughs so hard he has a seizure and remains very sick. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God bless Rosa Parks, BGs. Which doesn't belong and why? Which doesn't belong and why? Which doesn't belong and why? A, Judith Miller. Judith Miller. B. Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. C. I miss in the morn. Which is the belong and why? Well, obviously, I miss in the morn. Wrong, you stanky old skunk, you be <laughs> Well, all three aging lion hoes belong in prison and look like they haven't gotten laid since Bush Party 1 was in office. <laughs> the answer is A. Judith Miller doesn't belong because unlike the other two, Miller has never performed a filthy sex act on Donald Trump, he gave. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of 28 after the hour. Congratulations, Counselor. You settled the case. And now, you wait for your fee. And wait. And while you wait, are new opportunities passing you by? Are there debts that are piling up? That's why once you've settled a case, you shouldn't wait to call R.D. Since 1997, R.D. Legal Funding has been helping successful practices get legal fees from settlements in days instead of months. The cost is less than you might think, and there are no additional fees. If you have a settled case, call 1-800-565-5177 or visit LegalFunding.com. You'll feel like a certain weight has been lifted. 1-800-565-5177 or LegalFunding.com. You can wait for your fee, or you can call R.D. R.D. Legal Funding. I have these nightmares. This taco, not just an ordinary taco, but this big, evil taco is haunting me. You see, I was exposed to credit cards in college, and I wasn't the most responsible person back then. Go, go, go! go. Ah! I mean, I heard the words credit card and thought, hey, hey, free money. Playing ticket to spring break? Credit card. New skis? Credit card. 135 taco dinners? Bam! Credit card. But hey, it's not too late to do something about it. With Score Power from Equifax, you get your credit report and credit score, which can be the first step to good credit. So, check out Equifax.com today and get that taco you ate seven years ago out of your life. Get Score Power at Equifax.com. Or call 1-800-4-EQUIFAX. Adios, Taco. Score power from Equifax. From the company that helps you prepare for a major purchase, protect your identity, and...
and manage your credit. Lexus. Safety. Lexus. Dependability. Lexus. Under 35 grand. There's simply, simply no, no comparison. comparison. Lexus of Westport is proud to introduce the brand new Lexus IS250. Available with all-wheel drive starting under 35,000. Or step up to the 306 horsepower IS350 that rockets you from 0 to 60 in just 5.4 seconds. There's simply, simply no, no comparison. comparison. Get extra savings on every new and certified pre-owned Lexus in stock. Lease a brand new 2006 Lexus ES330 for just $3.99 a month for 36 months with just $26.97 to a signing. Choose any certified pre-owned Lexus at Lexus of Westport certified pre-owned in Fairfield and get financing as low as 4.9 percent up to five full years. Call 866-280-4000. That's 866-280-4000. Lexus of Westport. Exit 18 off 95 and at LexusofWestport.com. There's simply, simply no comparison. No offers qualified buyers all prices exclude tax and MVPs. My name is Phil McKenzie. At age 45, I discovered mountain climbing. I loved the thrill, the danger. Then I discovered I had high blood pressure. My doctor told me point blank, no more climbing. Suddenly, I faced a new challenge. Lower my blood pressure or the life I loved was over. Well, I met that challenge head on and won thanks to a pharmaceutical company named Novartis. A Novartis treatment reduced my blood pressure within weeks. It even passed my own personal test, climbing Alaska's Mount McKinley, all 20,000 feet. Novartis is proud to be the innovative force that's bringing new hope and optimism to millions of patients and their families. Today, Phil McKenzie's managing his blood pressure and living the life he loves. And you know what? The view was incredible. Novartis. Think what's possible. It is uh, 33 minutes past the hour here in the Iowa Sun Morning Program. Uh, please welcome now to the program the State Parks Commissioner here in New York State. Uh, for some inexplicable reason, my old friend, Bernadette Kastner. Good morning, Ms. Kastner. Good morning, Mr. Imus. I'm Why so you... excited to be here. Why are you here? Well, I have so many things for you today. Who's the fat guy in the studio? No, don't say that. Bob Lance, head of government relations for the great Coca-Cola. Oh, hi, Bob. How are you? Yeah, one of the great New York companies who... Oh, below that Coke, come on a salad, okay, Ben? Oh, uh, <laughs> anyway, oh that's just that... fine. <laughs> there we go. What's um, the matter, Joe? No, let's not start out like that, <laughs> oh, because he's got some good news for you. What is the good I news? As I sip my Dasani water. <laughs> what is the good news? <laughs> The good news is, because we know that the children at the ranch and right. you and Deirdre and my buddy Wyatt right. drink Dasani water. Sure. Well, Mr. we can't Lance, get anything better. Well, yeah. No, it's a great, it's right. the best product around, and you know it. And <laughs> well, as, long as, as long as it's not the stuff from London, right, Charles? We're getting out of the tap there. Well, as long as we can't get that London sewer water. <laughs> yeah, remember, they were, remember they were bottling the oh. Dasani water? They were opening a tap there, and so was it, do you remember, did you read this? They were no, I don't really want to hear the story. We don't need the story. Let me that, tell you what Bob Lance yeah, was they were, doing. They were opening. They were, they, they, were, they, were, they, they were running over there in East London. Was it East London, Joe? I think so. What? And they had the little Dasani bottles, and they'd open up the tap there. It's and, not true. <laughs> John, now, you know, some people, the, the problem is, some people might think you're serious. I am serious. You are not. Of course I am. Oh, it's ridiculous. Charles, am I serious? Or not? Absolutely. 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 Will you believe Charles? Sure. Charles. Serious and is I uh, you not polluted well. Way, by the way, the, the, the American version of Dasani yeah. comes from, uh, we, we also checked this out, yeah. comes from one of the most pristine wells in the, uh, springs in the country. Ab absolutely. Right, Charles? Uh, it certainly does. Yep. So, so, and I think they cleared up, uh, Bob, do you know if they cleared up the, where'd Bob go? Bob is probably on his way back Bob, to the did headquarters they of Coca-Cola. Did, they, did <laughs> they clear up the uh, London situation? He says there was no situation. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. No, no, no. Can we go to the on a positive well, now note? We have a, now we have a water cover-up. <laughs> Let me tell you about the good news that Bob Lance has brought you what today. What?